It's cold out here. <laughs> All right. We just heard some coyotes. Well, I'm Ranger Cookie. And I wanted to show you something. Look here. I'm getting hungry. I'm coming to eat you now. I'm licking my chops to stay eat you. <laughs> There's like three types that I caught on my game cam out here. And I'm going to show you that video. Or it's up already. We just have to post it. I did an update on my camp again. And I found some things about these lights over here. These lights leave them in the leave them in there will drain the battery. All the batteries have been drained. So I wonder if that's why they got rid of them. Because they got they drained the batteries by leaving them in there. It was odd this 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 one battery is still good. So I might take it out. Oh, dog's barking at somebody or something. All right, back to the story. All right, a couple things. This is the upgrade on my camp. All right, a couple things, some flaws. The batteries are dead in these flashlight things that I had up here on the uh, ceiling here. This is the only one that still works. So I'm, I'm going to take the battery out so it won't drain it. Or I don't believe they came on by themselves. Or these batteries are just crappy. And here's the uh, update. This is a tin I told you I found doing my scavenge hunts. Or... Not scavenge hunts, but uh, when people abandon their stuff at parks and they just leave it. So I just picked it up, and this is what that tap tent is. It's Oak Arkshark Trail tent. Nice, comfortable in there. It's got a lot of trash in it. Oh, the update on this. Okay, when I came out here after it rained so much, it had a little bit of water right here. But I took and got this uh, green screen like stuff and I just put another, I uh, put more pipes out. I put a pipe here and I put a stick here, which I usually don't use sticks because they rot. But this one's been out here for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. And I put the screen stuff out here, put some more of that uh, stuff I found in the uh, behind the. Uh, behind in the dumpster dives then I I put another pipe here so that I had water here and the water right here now this will keep the tarp up it's pretty straight and it's like a slant so most of my water is going to go down this way and not in front and I put this tin up that's the updates what we might do is put this back here just to protect this because I don't have the uh, top on here yet. And look at that. <sighs> Alright, that's the update for camp. We just heard some coyotes. And I'm a ranger kicky. Uh, nothing wrong with this. No water. No water insides. So all the water is doing good. There's no water pockets up here. So all the tarps that I have up there is protecting the camp very well. So what I want to do is put some new batteries in that, but not put them in, but put them in the bags and put them back up. And that's about it. That's all. I, oh, and I cleaned the ditch out. You see that in the video. That's camp update. And besides this 3P, 3PO uh, heater, I guess I'll go ahead and crank it up and let y'all see what it looks like. All right, see you in a few minutes. All right. Let's crank this thing up. Let's see what 
happens when we get this thing going. All right, first we gotta put the shell on top. This shell will keep it from overblazing and having ashes everywhere. There you go, now the shell's on. I'll start this baby up. Close the door. Well, I might need air. Let's see how hot this thing gonna be. It's gonna get hot as hell. If we can get it started. Okay, cut. I love cheating. Remember, I'm a survivalist, not a bushcrafter. Alright, let's see how well this flame is going to get. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the these barbecue things because uh, they're out of you now notice if you burn them all the way to the bottom they get really color flower and we need to go ahead and knock these out it's pretty cold skitters are not that bad right now so we'll go ahead and cut off these see some of them ran out of fuel some of them didn't so we got to improvise. All right, cut. All right, let's see. Cut. Well, let's see what happens. The old saying is, you know how to make a fire doesn't mean you're going to start a fire or have a fire. See, this is still green. Even though it's been out here for about two weeks. It's still kind of green. They got plenty of airflow. They got airflow through the bottom. They got air through through this door. And the holes in this radiator. Alright, well. See if it get warmed up in here. I'm thinking about making my bubble again. Still kind of cold air. Still winter. It's weird. Well, there she goes. She's getting hot.
Poor RTD D2. He's burning from the inside. Let's open this door. There you go. Let's find Dirk. Where's Dirk at? Damn. Guess he ran off to find a female fox. Hm. Sorry, my mouth is full of chicken. There's Dirk. Guarding the... Guarding the base. Oh. Come here, Dirk. Dirk, over here. Find it, Dirk. Where is it? Where is it, Dirk? Find it. Find that chicken. Find that chicken, dog. Where is it, dog? Oh, he found it. I was looking right at it. If it was a snake, it bit me. <clears throat> Look at R2D2. He's cooking very fine. Now, the theory is it radiates heat from the can, then the top, then it hits the tin, rolls it over into the tunnel or the bubble. Now, if I put tarps around, it would keep warm in this little bubble. And you can feel the difference. I'll pass over here, I can blow steam. When I'm in here, I can't blow the, 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 the moisture. All right, let's close the door. Look at poor R2D2. He's on flames. He got hit by a blaster. Poor blaster. All right, enough of this. Just watching a fire blaze. But a lot of people who just sit here and enjoy watching the flames come out of R2-D2. You got flames coming out everywhere. I'm getting warmed up. It's pretty cold out here today. Got my phone over here. Let's see. Okay. And they want to show me the weather. It's 82 degrees. There's no way it's 82 degrees. Look at that. It says 82 degrees. Feels like zero below. Maybe I heated it up and it registered. I don't know. Look at R2. R2-D2. He's burning. Poor, poor robot. He's burning from the blow, too. It's 
See, if I didn't have that cap, the flame would be really high, and I don't want that. I want it to be in a certain area, plus all those little crackling things flying in the air. That will slow it down and won't be so, uh, so big pieces of crackling. Now it's getting really hot because all the wood that I threw in there is really cooking. Look at that. I don't want to get too close. My camera might melt. But this is uh, R2-D2 for winter and cold nights. You see it's keeping me warm right now. It's uh, And I like how I got it now. It used to get the back really hot back here on the tin. And the bottom used to catch on fire. So I used to put uh, dirt and water right here. Boy, this is radiating good right now. Imagine you're putting your bed right here. If I put my bed right here, I'd be warm as toast. Let's see. No fire going through, which is good. And uh, R2-D2 is doing very good. Thank you, R2-D2. Look, it's turning red. Look, it's red. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, right here is red. This thing is turning red. That's what I wanted. Now he's doing well. Most of the heat's escaping, but if I had that little bubble, it won't escape as much. It's weird how the camera works. Look at the camera, it's big and bright. <laughs> and you go like that, it's like really small. Look at him. There's some flames. His little bodies just burning all the horror the poor little robot I feel sorry for it somebody please help it oh, I'll just share the post look at 3PO R2-D2? Oh, I think it was. That's what it is. R2-D2. I keep saying 3PPO. That's the silver guy with the silver leg. Or... Poor, poor robot. He's, he's burning for me. He's keeping me warm. He sacrificed himself. Well, I know one day he took the cold air out. Always wanted to know why people put, uh, make videos with fire. Now I know. It's so calm and relaxing. So th there's my videos for you, folks. Poor 3PPO or CP3PO, whatever his damn name is. Well, this video is too long, but let's take a closer look at right, R2D2. That's his name, not 3PPO. I'm thinking the wrong name. Well, and, and right now, the heat, I can feel the heat right from here. God darn, it's hot. This thing is putting out some good heat. Let's take a look at that thing before I go. And what it's doing is radiating heat around inside that container. The cap then is heating up the, these tins. So these tins is radiating heat too. In the back and front. 
right, well, I'm Ranger Kookie. See you on next video. <laughs> I can't spin around. I might fall, you know, getting dizzy and fall. So, yeah.